Officials told us this afternoon that everyone in an area the water will take 24 hours to reach has already departed, and as you can see behind me, with good reason. Only one of the 125 gates on this 4,000-foot-long spillway was open, a cautious first step to give everyone and everything a chance to flee. We'll open one, one bay today, we'll open one or two tomorrow, and then we'll open uh, gates based upon the river conditions as they exist. The Mississippi is cresting now near Helena, Arkansas, over 250 miles north of the Morganza Spillway. So officials in Louisiana know they are in for a period of acute anxiety as they try to manipulate the third longest river in the world. This is certainly going to be a marathon and not a sprint as we go through, uh, through this uh, tremendous amount, huge amount of water as it comes down. The situation is increasingly urgent. There's still tremendous amount of uh, stresses on the, on the system. Today's spillway maneuver is designed to ease the stress by diverting some of the Mississippi's flow away from the cities with their riverside industries and onto less populated rural areas. The choice of city over country is not unprecedented. It was made last month when the Corps blew up a levee and flooded Missouri farmland to save the city of Cairo, Illinois. In Louisiana now, three million acres, 3,000 square miles will be flooded. A tide heading toward the Gulf that is supposed to move well west of Baton Rouge and New Orleans. By tomorrow, the Army Corps predicts the water will be about 25 miles south and a foot or more deep. By Monday, 50 miles. And by Tuesday, the inexorable wave should reach Morgan City, a town of 11,000 where flood preparations have been underway all week. All told, up to 25,000 people in the new flood zone will be affected. Farmer Ted Glazer is one of them. It's going to be a hit. It's going to be a hit. We're going to change some lifestyle. What's more, this is Cajun country, a unique slice of Americana, with a storied culture to go along with its soybeans and cornfields. Much of it is going under for weeks or even months. Remember, this is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. Russ? Uh, Dean, at this point, any idea how long this operation is going to last? We think it's going to last another three weeks at least because, get this, the river is not even going to crest in Baton Rouge for another week. And they expect the crest to last 10 to 14 more days. So we're looking at a, an extended period of anxiety. Russ? Dean Reynolds in Morganza, Louisiana. Thank you very much.